Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to use the crop brush. Over your mouse cursor you will see that the shortcut is G to activate this uh, brush or by clicking on the G on G key from the keyboard. So what can this brush do? So let's uh, see the, its effect exactly. When we have no no geometry, also handle drag to make, uh, for example, this effect over here. So let's draw using the draw brush over here, for example, like this. For example, using draw brush to draw like this. By pressing G on the keyboard, you will activate the crop brush. So let's uh, try it and see what effect that can make it. Hold on, drag. This will grab it over here. This brush is used to drag a group of vertices around, grab select, group of vertices on mouse down, and pulls them to follow the mouse. And unlike other brushes, grab does not move different vertices as the brush is dragged across the model. For example, let's uh, increase this strength like this or increase the radius. You will pull a huge number of vertices using this method. Also, the effect is like moving a group of vertices in edit mode with proportional editing enabled. Except that group can make use of other sculpt mode options like textures and symmetry. For example, you can hold on the drag to move uh, using to move the different collection, many collection of vertices all over a region using grab grab brush. So uh, let's click on the brush to do some settings for the, this brush. We have the grab active vertex over here and also grab silhouette. For the first option, this option snaps the maximum strength of the brush to the highlighted active vertex making it easier to manipulate low poly models or meshes with subdivision surfaces. So let's enable it and let's see the different also for the other option for grab silhouette this uh, option allows you to attempt to preserve the object silhouette shape the shape of the silhouette is determined by the rotation of 3d viewports editor